This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and I was enjoying this enough that I decided to just continue on and do some more climbing on the same night, first night of playing this game, so I'm going to keep going with it for another hour, make us a part two. So, um, guidebooks, I'm going to do a couple other, actually I don't think there is any other. Well, there's some 5-6 walls still left here, like Electric Worry on the 3 quarter inch wall. I think there's a couple on the 3 quarter inch wall we can do here. Electric Worry, or maybe it's just the one on the 3 quarter inch wall. We can climb Electric Worry and maybe scout the wall for gear. Let's see, this technical route wanders the right face. The bolts are pretty close, and there are plenty of rests, making a great route to work your technique. This climb is a little longer than the others of this wall, so don't forget to rack up the extra draws. I don't see anything about a crux on there, though, so it might be just 5-6 because it's longer. So, destination, Sport Crag, 3 quarter inch wall. This is the electrical banana. Actually, I want to look for booty along these walls. <laughs> There's a little collectible carabiner over there. I probably need more mental skill to go and try and get that though. Over here there is something. This is electric worry. Damn, that's pretty tall. And there's a clue clear the frick up there. Uh, that's a much harder route, though. 5-8 minus that leads up to there, I think. Where... That leads up here. You'd want to, man, you'd want to solo that to top out here and climb down to get that clue. Damn. Soloing a 5-8. I, I can't even solo a 5-4 yet. And it says there's gear of some kind on the wall, that little white indicator dot on the right. It's probably on a wall I can't climb, though. There's an attribute point. Is that a trad crack? Oh, is that a trad route on this wall? Maybe not, but uh... Or there is a trad route on this wall, huh? I don't I don't want to do a 5-7 trad route though. It says there's gear of some kind on this wall though. At least I'm pretty sure that's what the white dot means, I forget. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry I'm not doing any climbing yet, but this is part of the game, scouting around, right? Right. Or maybe the gear is just that gray carabiner, that's probably what it is. Eh. Stupid, I saw that already. Electric worry. Uncle Bob, eh, he seems to think it's a good route for me to try. Electric worry. How many bolts, how many quick draws do I need? One, two, actually I don't think I need two there. I think I could skip that one and just clip into this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Dang, that's still quite a bit. Stuck in the extra one, good thing I scouted. Skip this clip and clip into here. Oh, shoot, son. Nobody told me about that. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. That was close. That crux almost tripped me up, man. Okay. Oh man, another one. Another crux. Fuck! No! Damn. Ah, fuck. 
Damn. Man, there's quite a few cruxes on this wall, huh? Didn't say anything about that in the guidebook. Wankers. Okay. Clip into there, chalk up a little. Ah. Okay, let's prepare my next piece of gear. And this is the technical crux. Z. Right, okay. Clip in. Keep climbing. Dang! Come on, stop giving me these cruxes. I need to rest. No! No, I did it! I got that, didn't I? Ah, frick. Man, I know I can do this. Come on. Clip. Tense. Tense stuff. Let's prepare my next piece of gear so I'll just automatically clip in. Oh gosh. No, what? I was grabbing onto that. Ah. Damn. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, man. Come on. Making me feel like a noob here. Noobie noobie. I am kind of a noob, but whatever. Okay. a lot to keep track of, isn't it? Down. Z. Right. Okay. Chalk up while we're safe. Okay, that is a bucket hold. Good, good. Okay. Clip in. To the anchor, get my next piece of gear ready, chalk up there while it's safe. And grab onto that bucket hold. Uh, doesn't restore a whole lot of energy on that bucket hold, but should be enough, hopefully. And the clip-in point should be right up here, come on. Yeah! Whew. That was quite a route. That was a 5-6? That, that was quite a route for a 5-6. Yeah, that was a 5-6. That was a long one. Dang. I heard the little do 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 while I was climbing, though. I think, yeah. Means I got another point. Put it into technical, I guess. Um... Uh, stainless wall's got a 5-6 I didn't do, and I'm going to scout that wall for gear 2 that people have left behind. Nope, nothing on there. Uh, actually, I don't think this says that there's any gear around here at all, so never mind that. Let's see where that 5-6 route is. Distended Ego. Let's read up on that. This route climbs the center of the wall. You will need to make good use of rest holds as you move through thin, balancing moves and technical sequences. So this is going to test my technical stat again. Miss one of the jugs and you'll have little chance of reaching the shuts. 
The shuts are the anchor points on the top of the wall that you clip into to finish the wall when you're climbing with a rope. Those are the shuts. I haven't been calling them the proper thing. I've been calling them cl the clip-in. Basically, that's clip-in. That you clip in the wall. That's completing it. The anchors are the things you clip into with the quick draws in between that and the shuts on top. Ugh. Okay. Distended Ego. Let's scout it a little first. A couple clip-ins. Go up the wall here. Third clip-in and a jug. Fourth clip-in. Jug. Uh, that leads to an attribute point, but I don't think I'm going to reach that. Got here. Jug and shuts. So one... Two, three, four, five. Okay. Well then, let's do this thing. Uh, you have to tap the arrows when you do these, you can't just hold it. So. Okay, clipped in. Okay. Okay. Let's get the next piece of gear ready. Rest, okay. I'm guessing I can't get to that attribute point from here. I'm guessing I have to top off some other, other route, and I don't want to risk losing my grip this far up. Okay, I've got a quick draw ready. Scale up this part of the wall. Get down to this bucket hold. Ah. Get this ready. Oh, jeez. Technical crux. Okay. Clip in! On site! Yes! Yes! First time on site. That probably got my character leveled up. Yes. We'll upgrade my physical a little. And my and I'm up to grade 5.6 plus. My rubber's at 90%. I wonder if it has to be close to 0% before it wears out, or if it's like a partial percentage and you have to change it. I don't know what it needs for a resole. Um, I'm going to have to buy some gear at the gear exchange, though. <clears throat> it didn't look like there was real wide cracks that needed the cams on the stuff we were doing, and cams are expensive, so... Yeah. Um, and I almost have enough cash for a new rope, that's tempting, but we're gonna need some of the cash for trad gear, I think. I probably could sell some of... Wait, get on the three-quarter inch wall and commit to trad teach you to teach you something new? Will she teach me something new? She said I wasn't ready last time. Let me ask her. Uncle Bob said to try and convince her. For $100, I will teach you more about trad gear. Do you wish to learn? I think learning more about trad gear will light up more spots on the wall for you to place gear on, so that might be good. You'll learn how to place easy trad gear. When climbing, gear place until appears blue flashes. So now we got to see basic trad placements and to see easy trad placements. So seeing more trad placements will probably be helpful. So let's go back to destinations. Thanks, Uncle Bob, by the way, for that tip. That's good that the game actually gives you tips. Squirrel! That's a good easy route. Decaf climbing 5-5. Five, five. Let's take a look at that route. And I found an acorn, apparently. 
I guess there's some girl around here somewhere that wants those acorns, so... It says, item, one nut. So apparently I'm carrying around the acorn now. Weird. But okay. Decaf climbing. Well, this is a partially shut route. Actually, this just looks like a... This just looks like a clip-in route. Let me read the guidebook on that. Climb past two bolts to a right-facing dihedral. Get some gear in before you move right to a jug. A pretty chill route, though. Brief crux guards the finish. It looks like a pretty wide crack there, though. It's like, what gear do I use for that? Like, seriously, I'm not even sure. Or even if I need to place trad gear there. Probably don't, actually. So I guess we won't be doing our first trad route quite yet. Looks like you can place it there, but... Uh, that's a bucket hold right there. And we'll clip in there. Oh, geez. Oh, what? Eh. Damn. Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. Let's try that again. Probably need to clip in and then rest on that bucket hold because... Otherwise, I've got a lot of stress going because I'm not safe, so... Then clip into there, we'll go back down here and rest on the bucket hold. And then we'll climb up. And clip into the shuts. There's a clue up there, but I'd have to solo this wall to get to that, so... Yeah. No, nope, no. Nope. Didn't want to do that. Already done the wall, though, so that didn't count against me. There's a 5-6 on Crazy 8's called Hot Wax Revolution. Seriously, who comes up with these names? Start on the left face. Make sure to protect the lower crooks as ground fall is a definite potential on this route. Run it out to the anchors. Okay, let's see what that route looks like. See if we can find it. <laughs> the burning eight. The web. Hot wax revolution. So there's a... I've got a three pixel crack there. Three pixel crack there. Little tiny crack there. Three or four pixel crack there. And shuts. So we need, like, three decently sized uh, nuts or whatever they are, and one little tiny one. So, let's go to the gear exchange. I was wondering how I got to 418 for a second, then I remembered that, uh... I don't think I need this big one. That's a big piece of gear there. This is what I probably need. But I'm gonna buy a few of each, because I know I'll probably need them. So... I just won't have them all on my rack at once, is all. So... Let's run over here and let's manage my gear. I don't need the quick draws because I need these and this. I, I need to move that to another gear slot. So now we're actually going to be dealing with multiple types of gear on our belt at once. So that'll be interesting. All right. 
Are you ready? Oh my goodness. This is going to be interesting. It's not letting me clip it. Oh. It did let me clip in. Uh, okay. Oh geez. No, oh, no, oh geez. Don't oh, want I decked. No, what? You've got to be kidding. Oh, damn. That means I died and I lost my experience. Dang it. Frick. Uh, I guess I need to uh, clip in more at the top of that crack than the bottom, because I saw there was a couple of places I could put it. Um... Uh, looks like I need to buy another one of those. Eh, dang it. That... Eh, that sucked. I failed that crux. Okay, let's put that on our rack. And... We have to secure on the top of that crack there, I think. Is probably the best way to do it. Put into there. Shit. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh gosh. Duh. Damn. Can I clip in with some smaller piece of gear up there or something? Damn. Um, let's try that. Let's add that to our thing here, and, uh, yeah. And maybe we can't clip into that with what we have. Maybe we did need the bigger, I don't know. Clip in, chalk up. No! Mm, dang. This is a little more difficult, isn't it? Dang it. No. I'm just not very doing very good on that crux, am I? Let me clip... Oh, jeez. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I may just have to accept the fact that I lost a piece of gear up there. Dang. Those technical cruxes are killing me on that route. And I don't think there's any kind of energy regenerating hold I can use on that. It's just... Ugh. I need more mental skill or technical skill or something. Dang. Is there any other... Ninja Bunny. The machine. Okay. There's some other 5-6 routes around here I can try. One on the Mutant Hamster, which is another cliff name I like. And the Ninja Bunny. We may have to go to the gear exchange first, though. Eh. 
Oh, man. Guess it's all about experimenting, but... Snot and vomit. That's gross. And I found another nut. Weird. I got two nuts. Who's this person that wants nuts? I want to find them now. Maybe they're not around this... There's another one. Dying a pretty ninja bunny. This isn't trad climbing. These are clip-in routes again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I guess I just need five quick draws for that. Where'd my blayer go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, what the? What? That killed me. Bullshit. Ooh, you failed the technical crux. The technical crux you didn't know was coming up right at the beginning of the cliff. Somehow that little fall killed you. Fuck you, game. That was fucking retarded. <sighs> God damn it. Okay. Ugh, jeez. Chalk up again. Jeez. Ugh. Prepare my next piece of gear. What the hell? Damn it, I'm just trying to climb in a different direction. I'm I was climbing up, I was trying to adjust to the left right when that technical crux started. And since I pressed left, it made me fall. <sighs> Son of a bitch. There really should be some warning when the technical cruxes are coming up. It's like, jeez. Chalk up. Her next piece of gear. I guess I don't really have to because I already got a gear there. But it's still prepared for when I need it, so... Okay. Okay. Clip in, chalk up. Rest. Oh boy. Okay. I didn't accidentally fail that one this time. So. Oh jeez. Clip in. And then we'll rest on that. I think that's the last uh, anchor, so... And then we just uh, clip the shuts, yeah. <sighs> okay. Don't have enough experience for an attribute point yet. Ooh. Um... There's the machine on Mutant Hamster. Jack's Rocks, the Mutant Hamster. And there's... Matt. Whoa, I want to know what this looks like. Oh. Heavens. Well, <laughs> dang. Okay, seriously, so who's this person that wants these nuts? So I got a bunch of them for some reason. Jag off? Was that like a jack off? Okay, um, 
the machine. Oh man. There's a death minus, which gets rid of one of your deaths because the deaths affect your score. Uh. So wait a minute. Which one's the one I clip into here? It looks like this squiggles out here and I clip in there. I guess this one actually has the higher clip in. So... Up here. You know what, I'm gonna find the rest of those nuts and uh... See what this squirrel lady does. So I think all I have to do is run around on the walls, or near the walls. <sighs> because I don't think there's any nuts, like, on the cliff faces or anything. So, I'm just curious what happens if I give her the nuts. I mean, heck, who knows, she might teach me a, I don't know, a skill or something. If she taught me a skill, that'd be cool. You never know. Exploring. All that stuff. Um... There's the mutant hamster. Which is the place that has the crazy squirrel lady. Apparently. Whatever her name was. Um, I think I found all that around here already, though. Maybe there's nuts on, like, other destinations we can't get to yet. Who knows? That could be the case. Who's this guy? Oh, it's Roy. He's just hidden by trees, so he looks different. <laughs> there's one. Hmm. My throat's starting to get a little hoarse from all the talking, so I may end this tonight on part two. So let's go to the mutant hamster. I have five nuts. Maybe that's enough. Because she has five squirrels, so I'll give you my chapstick if you give me five nuts for my squirrels. Sure, I guess. I don't know what the heck the chapstick is for. Maybe it's like one of those, uh, trade chains that you get in games sometimes. See, now I have chapstick. Maybe someone wants chapstick. I don't know. We're gonna try a trad route, but the one trad route that I feel safe trying is kicking my butt, so... Need more technical skill or something. How many clips is there in here? Four? Yeah, four. So, we'll put that uh, back, and, uh, yeah, let's do this thing. Probably should have checked the guidebook first. I don't know, there may have been some cruxes or something. Uh, let's chalk up. Oh, yep, there's technical crux. Oh, what? Uh, damn, there must have been another... There must have been another button press left that I didn't do. Dang it. Okay. Chalk up. Get my next piece of gear. Damn it! I was just trying to adjust my climbing route there. I hate that. It's like, unless you know where the technical routes are, you're kind of likely to slip up and accidentally... Damn it, see, like that. I was just trying to adjust again. Fuck. So that's going to be one of my annoyances about this game, definitely.
Damn. Dang. This route's kicking my butt too. Oh, I guess it's easier to go up that way. You avoid one of the technical cruxes altogether. Interesting. It's one way to do it. Now we'll just clip into the shuts. Yeah. So one of the places has a technical crux there, the other does not. Interesting. Alright, let's put a point into technical there. There's Hot Wax Revolution on Crazy 8s to do still, but... That one seems really hard for a 5-6. Dang. I don't know if I need that or not, but... No, you dick whores. Uh, damn it. I was trying to get the right... I guess I should set that in advance. Damn it. Now I lost another one of those things. Fuck. Buy another one. Damn. I just wanted to do one trad route. Apparently this one's difficult. Thought I heard myself gain an attribute point before I... No, maybe not. Damn it. Now I've lost my progress on that. Wait. Fuck. My gear. I need my gear. And I probably want to take this piece of gear off. It's kind of useless. For what I'm doing. Why is this so hard? Jeez. Ugh. I seem to be gaining experience from trying to climb this wall, though, so hey, at least there's a bright point there, I suppose. I really need ben better mental abilities or something, though. Make me look like I suck. With all the tries I have to do to do this. Damn it. I'm 
almost out of energy again. Uh, how do I get through that without using all my energy up? Are you kidding me? How come I can't place the gear higher up in the crack there? Oh, what the fuck? No bullshit. <sighs> fuck that wall. There's a gap there, so I need higher mental attributes. Or some shit. Ugh, damn it. Uh, fuck. Let's go back to the previous destination and scout for stuff. It's a quick draw on this route, so... You know what, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, it's kind of funny that you clip into gear that's already up there. It's like, do you really trust other people's gear when you're climbing? That just seems weird. I'm trying to remember if there's any cruxes on this. This might have been a crux here. Yep, balance crux. Damn. Come on, clip into the shuts. Yeah. Ah, we got ourselves a quick draw, I guess. Cool. Ay, ay, ay. Nothing on the other routes, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, it's the same thing you do in any RPG. You gotta do the slightest bit of grinding, I suppose. I guess for better or worse, that's that tends to be part of a lot of RPGs. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, let's go to the three-quarter inch wall and scout around a bit. Talk to that trad person and go, eh, Oh, trade you my old shoes for your chapstick. Okay, cool. Item old shoes, okay. Who do I trade that with now? I'm on the trading chain here. Five, seven plus. There's a trad route. It's probably even... Okay, and there's a crack there to protect, and a crack there, crack there, crack there. Jeez. And a piece of gear up there, but I don't feel confident enough in my trad climbing to go up there. Is there anything on this wall? Not really. There's an attribute point up there if I felt like soloing it, but I don't. Power Chocolate. There's another interesting route name. It's a quick draw up there. That almost looks like it needs a dino to jump up there, but I'm not entirely sure. Electrical Banana. Ooh, there's a quick draw for me up there. Sweet. 
So that's one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's grab that quick draw. I need to earn some money back after losing money to that trad route anyway. So, fuck's sake. Damn it, it happened again. See, that happens to me all the time. I'm trying to go diagonal to stay on the holds and... Okay. It's technical here. Z, okay. Okay. Clip in. Ah, oh, jeez. Flipping the shuts. Got myself a new quick draw. Awesome. Yeah, I do wish I had the mental att attributes to try and get that there, but I do not seem to. Okay. I gotta look around for somebody who would trade these old shoes. I'm just curious. And maybe we'll find some gear to retrieve off the walls, who knows. I guess you don't want an old pair of shoes, Mr. Guru. Why would I be surprised at that, though? He's the climbing guru. What does he need with an old pair of climbing shoes? Stainless wall. Actually, I think it's the... The right dots, the one on the very left says whether there's anything to collect on the walls, but once again, I'm not sure. That's what the manual's for. Mm -hmm. That blue dot, the dark blue one over on the very left hand side of the right ones. Ay, ay, ay. Man. Who wants this old pair of shoes? I got an old pair of shoes. Yeah, well, I'll figure it out later. In the meantime, is there anything on these walls for me? Not really, it would seem. One, two, three, four. Man, I think that's a different route altogether. Yeah, it is. Yeah, let's do this one again. Might as well. I need uh, to get some experience and level up anyway. Chalk up near the hold. Ah, fuck. I guess I was supposed to go off to the left instead of keep climbing up again. Doi hee hoi hee hoi. Let's try that again and retrieve my quick draw. I don't want to lose my gear. Because those quick draws are like 25 bucks a piece. Chalk up. Okay. 
Yeah, that gives you some experience. Almost enough. Oh, I haven't done this 5-6 route yet. Let's end it with this. This wandering technical route is perhaps the best 5-6 of the sport crag. Climb up to the fourth bolt and let the games begin. Take advantage of the good rests between cruxes. There are plenty, especially if you're creative. What does that mean? There's a beaner there. Maybe I could grab it. I'm definitely not going out here, though. Or is this another different route altogether? I don't even know. Probably. Or maybe not. Oh, jeez. What am I getting myself into on this one? Hmm. <laughs> this makes me nervous. Looks like you're kind of supposed to go out here. I bet that's a crux there. And go back around here, clip in. Go around up here. And... Ay, ay, ay. My goodness. That's a long route. So how many clip-ins are there? One, two, three. And go around here. Four. Five. Six. Damn. Seven. And seven of them. I know there's cruxes, so I gotta be prepared for that. Okay. Let's clip into there. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I bet if I was a more adventurous climber, I could go down there and grab that carabiner, but right now I'm not a more adventurous climber. Jeez. Uh... Oh, frick. Man. That is a tricky, tricky route. Holy cow. Okay. Under the bucket hold. Ugh. Oh gosh. Get to that bucket. 
Oh gosh. Oh, there's a clip in already. Ah, jeez. Ah. Ah. Doing it. Doing it. It's old. Ooh, this is some tense shit. Oh, jeez, another crux. Don't want to use too much of my power. And clipped in. Clipped in the shuts. Yes. That was an insane route. Oh, what, that didn't count for me collecting the gear? Yeah, well. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the... this place and see who there is to talk to. Just real quick. I keep seeing him all over the place. I guess I just follow you around. Um, I don't know who would want this old pair of shoes. <laughs> Sounds weird. I'm trying to find someone who wants an old pair of shoes, but... I doubt anyone wants an old pair of shoes. My hands are cold. You have squirrels. Warm your hands up with the squirrels. Squirrels are warm, right? Just use them as, like, living mittens with claws. Okay, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Okay, I'm not very good at selling the idea of squirrel mittens, but, hey. Okay. I don't know. Not quite sure where to go from here. That one route was insane, though. Bolt's beer and Grandpa's hot pepper jelly. Fun, but kind of insane. I wonder if I could get that beaner off the wall. I'm curious. Let's try that. Wait, where'd it go? It was here. Damn it. Well, it's just gone now. Damn it. Thought I could try and get that thing. Ugh. <sighs> Oh well, guess we'll climb this wall for experience then. Let's make sure I have my gear ready. Oh boy. No, no, stay up near top. I think if it stays up near the top then it doesn't affect your energy as much. I think. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Ah, okay. Get my next gear ready. Okay.
Ugh. Yeah, I heard that little boop -doop, boop -doop, doop doop sound again. Does that mean I just gained experience, or does that mean I gained a level? I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, there was some good experience. There we go. Character! Got almost 25 points in everything. That's progress. I wonder what the maximum amount of points in a stat is. Hmm. Okay. Just out of curiosity, I'm still wondering if I can solo those easy routes barely now or not. We'll climb up this and clip in if we need to, but... Uh, not entirely sure if I feel safe about that, honestly. Now we can try it, I guess. We're gonna try our solo here. Right, come on. We're almost there, just climb up past the shuts. I did it! Holy crap, I did it. Um, actually, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, it's X and down to go down to the bottom of the cliff again. Well, that's a good way to end that, I guess. Solo to route. Um, I don't think I quite have the skills to go up there and grab that gold carabiner, but yeah. wonder about that other easy route. Um, yeah, we'll try it. We'll try that. Why not? Well, because I might die, that's why not. But other than that, you know... Ah, okay. Yeah! And some amount of money. Free solo. Two free solos. I think that's the way to end it. <sighs> Alright. Got some nice cash. Actually, you know what I'm going to do with that? I am going to... Look at that, two solos. But I am going to... Go to the gear exchange, and I am going to... Boom. Do my rope. I had a 10.6 basic, now I've got a... Thin line, 10.4. Which should make me a bit lighter, and hopefully my climbing a bit easier. That was a substantial upgrade. Nice. So, I think this is Tanara Kurinov. Signing out. Until next time, until I do a part three. So this stuff will probably be uploaded after the review, so what I'm saying at the moment may be a little ir irrelevant, but hey, fun stuff seems like so far. A little frustrating. A few little things I think might be improved, but then I suppose finding out the out about the cruxes in a wall is a matter of experimentation, so not really sure what to think of it. Think of that particular annoyance of mine. Tanara Kurinov signing off until next time when we will be climbing some more rocks. That'll be fun.